everyone, Starlight Players again, and I have a drugstore um, major beauty and makeup haul to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start with, um, I can't exactly remember where everything is from, but I'm going to try my best. I picked up a couple things when CVS had the 75% off sale. So this is actually a collective haul. I didn't buy all this at once, so some of this stuff I've had for a while. But what I was able to find at CVS was a Revlon Age Defying Spa Concealer. And I bought this because um, they had the color medium, which is actually a darker tone than um, what I have in the... I've been using the Benefit Erase Paste for underneath my eyes, but I have built up a tan and this is actually darker. So I want to um, use this and you know let you guys know how it goes. So I bought that 75% off at CVS. I did find another Rimmel London lipstick, which I love these lipsticks. And this color is in Rosette. Which I think is better for like the fall and winter time, so I'll probably save it until then, but really good lipsticks. I found two more Rimmel London products for 75% off, and one is the uh, their Glam Eyes eyeshadow. It's just a single eyeshadow, and the color in this is in Spice Bronze. Really pretty, just bronzy color. So I've never tried their eyeshadows before, so I figured I'd pick that up. And then I found um, another mascara by Rimmel London to include in my second uh, drugstore mascara challenge video. So if you haven't seen the first one, I'll put a link somewhere up here so you can watch that. But I am going to do a second series of that, um, you know, challenging and comparing drugstore mascaras. So I found this one by Rimmel London, and this is the Glam Eyes Lash Flare Mascara. So I'll use this and talk about this more in detail in that video. Then I found in the clearance section um, another one that I don't think you can buy this anymore, but I am going to include it in that um, drugstore challenge, the drugstore mascara challenge video, because I've seen this at Big Lot, so you might be able to find it there. But this is the Maybelline Pulse Perfection Vibrating Mascara. And the uh, thing about this one is that um, it vibrates. It has a little button up here, and you just press it, and it vibrates. Basically, it does the work for you, like wiggling through your eyelashes. So. I'll talk more into detail about that in that drugstore uh, mascara challenge video. So I picked up from Target a few things too. Um, Elf has some new eyelid primers and they have a little trio. These are what they look like. They have, this is their original sheer color one, but then they have this um, champagne one in the middle and then this pearl one. There's also a golden one, but they only have it online. So I will be using these and I do, I probably will do a separate video on e.l.f. eyelid primers because I'm doing an, an e.l.f. series. Um, well, it's in the making right now because I have so much e.l.f. stuff. So I'll be doing this in a separate video, but I did pick those up. And um, a couple other things that I found at Target. I found a new dry shampoo. I do have the Tresemme dry shampoo, but I really wanted to find another drugstore one to do a challenge video, of course. Um, I love doing those challenge videos, especially with drugstore products because, you know, um, I'm always trying to save money, and I think drugstore products are the way to go. And I, if I can find a good comparison or the better drugstore product, you know, I'm gonna let you guys know about it. So the first, uh, the the new one that I found is um, Swa Professionals, and this is their dry shampoo spray. So I'll be using this one to compare it to the Trust Me one. And this one was actually cheaper by like two dollars. This was less than three dollars with tax. So great, great deal. Hopefully that'll be a really good one too. I picked up um, two Burt's Bees products as well. One was this one was from Rite Aid. This is their um, sun protecting lip balm SPF eight with passion fruit. So I now have a Burt's Bees lip balm. This is really good actually. So um, all you guys who suggested Burt's Bees, thank you so much. And I picked up another Burt's Bees items. This was at Walgreens, and you can get this for one ninety nine in like their travel section. So I highly recommend it if you want to try some more Burt's Bees stuff like I do. And this is their um, coconut foot cream. So I just wanted to pick that to try out some more Burt's Bees items. So I also found at my Walgreens these EcoTools um, bamboo mini nail files, which I thought were really great because I love EcoTools. It's eco-friendly. And um, who couldn't use a nail file? So I picked those up. And I think those were like really, I can't remember how, how much they were, but they really weren't that expensive. And um, at Walgreens, I also found these were two for a dollar when they were on sale. And this is by Ren Pure Organics. This is a amazing miracle deep penetrating reconstructor and you use this after you shampoo. It's a little um, individual pack. You use this after you shampoo. You put it all over your hair and then it says to leave it in your hair for five minutes and rinse it out. So it's kind of like a kind of like a hair mask I would guess. So I'll be using this and um, you know let you guys know what I think. Um, I picked up a uh, nail polish by Wet n Wild as well. And this is uh, in a healthy carnation ship. And it's just a, a sheer, like, shimmery pink color. It's very, very sheer, though. Um, I don't know. 
I, I kind of want to find another color like this, but you know, I would only need like two coats to get the color in the bottle, so it's okay. Now, I did buy some brand new uh, Wet n Wild bronzers, because if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I love Wet n Wild bronzers. They're just phenomenal. The new one that I got is 741A Princess. And that's what that looks like. It's not glittery, but it does have a slight shimmer to it. And like I said, these bronzers are amazing. The second one that I got is from their limited edition summer line. And I originally was looking for the um, eyeshadow trio, but I can't find it. Now I know there's this new collection called Dreamweavers, and I can't find that one either. I've gone through so many drugstores. But I was at least able to find a bronzer. And this is the um, Everything Under the Sun bronzer. I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. So this is pretty shimmery, too. But um, I imagine it'll be nice like at nighttime and stuff. So I'm excited that I at least was able to find that. And then I picked up some items from the Dollar Tree to try out. Um, I picked up this uh, NYC eye candy thing. That's what that looks like. If you see this at a Dollar Tree, um, I would recommend just to pass this up because it's really honestly not that pigmented. You're better off going with Wet n Wild eyeshadows, um, spending the two extra dollars to get a trio because this really wasn't that pigmented. It's really not that worth it. So spare your dollar, spend two extra dollars and go for Wet n Wild. Um, the next one that I got to try out some other company eyeshadows because again, um, I really want to try out some other drugstore products, you know, not just stick with like the same things that I have been. But I found this at Dollar Tree, and this is Maybelline, and this is their Expert Eye Eyeshadow Duos, and this is an Indian Summer. So I can at least try out a Maybelline eyeshadow now. And last but not least, my, my favorite, I found these at Dollar Tree too, and this was just kind of like a, I don't need this, but I really wanted it. But these are little Dippin' Dots, little lip balms. And they look like little mini pints of ice cream. They're so adorable. I love them. Um, th the ones that I have are cotton candy, uh, cookie dough, and my favorite one, which is mint chocolate, because that's my favorite ice cream flavor. And this actually smells and tastes legitimately like um, mint chocolate chip. It's so, so good. So, yeah, if you see these at um, Dollar Tree, Pick them up because they really do smell and taste like your favorite ice cream flavors. And they're so cute. But yeah, that's everything that I have in my um, drugstore makeup haul. I know it's quite a lot, but it's, it's accumulated for like the past month or so. So I just never did a video, but um, I figured I would go ahead and show you guys because some of this stuff is still available out there. So check out your, um, your drugstores and Target and Dollar Trees. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, comment down below. And make sure to follow me on Twitter if you are on there because occasionally sometimes I'll be shopping somewhere and I'll take photos of something. So yeah, um, anyway, questions, comments, leave them down below and thanks again for watching. Bye.